is in heaven, mm -hmm. Jesus, go back. Now the Holy Spirit will come. Okay, that's the name of the day, the Holy Spirit comes. Right? That's all. Now the Holy Spirit will come. So this day is important in a holy day. Hey, good evening. Uh, this is our third day of the trek, and we're at the uh, summit. Summit, you stop. Oh, very good. This is a family restaurant, a family uh, tea house, actually. And um, we're very close to Lantong where the uh, earthquake hit. Anyhow, this evening we were having our dinner, and uh, this is your name? Pasa. And he's one of the sons that's here. And you were 10 years a monk, right? Yeah. In a monastery here. And uh, he's 23 years old. Yeah, exactly. You know? And about three years ago, he came back to the monastery, and he's been living with his parents here. And anyhow, we got talking. He actually understands Tibetan, which is a pretty, uh, it's a difficult language, or at least it's not one that's well known. So uh, tonight, as we got talking, right, um, I asked you a couple questions, and, and uh, who came into your heart tonight? Uh, I think Jesus. Jesus, yeah. Jesus come in your heart? Yeah. Yeah. And how do you feel? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Um, before I was a lot of pain in my body, mm -hmm. then you together, you guys pray for, you. Pray for me, yeah. and I'm now, I'm good. <laughs> that's cool. Okay, all right. Okay, cool. Well, that's all right. Jesus loves you, man. Yeah. That's cool. And we actually, we were able to bring up some Bibles. We have about, uh, about, brought about 20 of these, which are very difficult to find, but we were able to give them up, and we actually we want to let you have it. Okay, this is yours. Yeah, thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you so much. No, you're very welcome. Okay. Okay. All right, day four of our trek. We're going to reach Lantong today. This is where the earthquake hit, and from there we're going to go to the village. It's been remade, reconstructed since, and there's supposed to be a lot of people there. We're going to be able to give out Bibles to, talk to. Yeah, pray for. It's going to be good. town of Lanto. What you see behind here actually is the town itself, what was left of it. There's nothing left. It was completely devastated by the blast, or not the blast, but the earthquake when it came down. The glacier came down. From what I understand, there was a lake as well. The entire thing just collapsed on top of this village. And when it did that, the force of it threw bodies up against that mountain. That's how strong it was. They said that the blast was that like of a Hiroshima bomb. The blast carried down that this valley, this ravine down here, devastating the villages along the way as well. But what we're looking at right now is not the original rock from the mountains that filled and blasted into this area. This is glacier rock, so it's been like two years now. So what's happening is the mountains, the glaciers, are a mix of ice and rock. And they move slowly down like lava, and they work their way down to the river, which you can't see down there. Okay, namaste. My name is Kevil, I'm the guide for the group right now and we're here right now in the Langtang Valley Trek. And up there we have a Langtang Lirung, the mountain cult and on the bottom of this mountain used to be lake, small glacier lake and there's a big glacier of the Langtang Lirung. Langtang Lirung is 7,229 meter high from the sea level and during the earthquake time it was the afternoon time and people, it was the busy, very busy time. This is the very busy trekking route in Nepal. Langtang is very famous also for the East Valley. Thank you. And I uh, just, uh, uh, something short to add. I was here last year with, with another guy. And uh, he had been up here many, many times and he was explaining to me how all this, all this rock, he was telling me underneath there, houses, shops, and you're saying, oh, over here was the school, and over there was the hospital, and I was like, I couldn't believe it. It was just, it was so amazing. Well, the here it explained most of it, but yeah, it's... Uh, and we pray for the, the, all the people who pass 
from the village they, yes. and they gonna get the good place in heaven we just pray for yeah the people yeah yes. here and yeah for the rest of the people their family will be yeah they that they can find the happiness the right yeah. yeah when i got up to the top of the village up they were telling me that even still there's so much pain in the people's hearts in this valley there's still a lot of sorrow oh and i met uh last year when i was up here i met women that were doing porter work and they told me they lost their husband they lost all their kids and their houses totally demolished and they were like homeless so there's uh, it's coming together up here i can see uh, last year there was a lot more people because it wasn't the rainy season but they're they're rebuilding so pray for them anyway it's still they're still kind of uh working on it it's not complete it's been two years now and what it says here the memorial Maani wall this is a memorial for the loved ones who lost their lives in the april 25th 2015 earthquake in the long Pond valley not a day passes when you're not loved and missed forever in our hearts and they have it translated in different languages yeah. here's on the left are all the uh different police sherpas this is from the town that they're in male or female, you don't have their ages. First one, the second one, the third one, the fourth one, the fourth And here we have the, uh, the foreigners from Australia, Indonesia, Israel, Italy, Malaysia, Netherlands, Russia, Spain, USA. And on the corner you have the German Germans. This must be the army. This is our new cook, guide, and translator, all in one.
this is the fourth day of our trek. Yep, this is where we're going to stay, and then we're going to turn back back to Kathmandu from here. This is our last stop. Last right? stop. My mistake and help me, help me, love you, love you, and other people. So and other people? Yes. And thank you. Thank you for making me. Thank you for, for, me, me, for making me your son. Your son. Amen. Um, Amen. 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 I agree. Yeah. So where is Jesus? Uh, so where, so where, can, where is Jesus now? Where is Jesus? My in heart. That's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he sure is. And he loves you very much. Yeah. Yeah. So we have some time we can do Yes, I'm reading some uh, tennis. Okay, yeah, one week and one tennis reading. Read what? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. yeah. I'm going to pray for you, okay? Okay. Then. Fine, but uh, sometimes it often comes. Back okay. also now. Fine? Everything is fine? But, okay. uh, but uh, sometimes it, it hurt. Come sometimes and go. Back. Come okay. and go. Can we pray one more time? Then it will not come back. Oh, okay. It will not come back and she will stay healed and that she will come to know you right now. Pain, get out right now. Back and healed. Bones align, flesh align, in Jesus' name, all tissue to heal. Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Ramro, Can you read? 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 Can you Can you read? Can you read? Can you Can you read? Can read? As you see, this, this is a lot of there's a lot of workers that have come around from the different areas of Nepal to work here because the hotels are coming up, come tea houses. So today we saw uh, 14 people healed and 10 people received Jesus, which is pretty cool. And we get a lot of tracks out. So within a matter of pretty much like about six to seven hours, we've pretty much done everything that we could do here that we know. Of course, there's always more, but anyhow, it's been quite an interesting day. You can see the construction going on you can see everyone's pretty busy here at the moment so it's getting towards the evening we're gonna call it quits for the day Bye. okay here we go I was given potatoes and uh, cheese and yak butter and they were in separate dishes so what I've done is gonna have peeled off some of the uh, bad spots on the potatoes and put the cheese in here I'm going to stick this thing in the fire. Hopefully, it might have something good. So, what do you have to say now about your food? This looks better and it's more, more digestible to me. I'm going to enjoy eating this. Oh, you can actually see it sizzling. 